I've wanted to be a doctor probably since I could walk. My grandfather was a doctor, my uncle's a doctor. For me, it was doing a co-op in grade 11 in a local hospital. My mom actually has a video of me when I was five years old saying, I want to be an anesthesiologist, and of course I couldn't even pronounce that. After you finish your first two years of medical school, the last two years are what we call your clinical rotations. Now you are working with residents and attending physicians where you're actually learning a particular specialty field. Clearly one of the key advantages of coming to St. George's is the ability to do clinical rotations in the United States. I mentor and counsel individual medical students to be successful in their clinical years both in the hospital and to help increase their ability to obtain residency positions. I do believe that these clinical rotations are probably the most important aspect in trying to narrow down what you want to do for residency because you can come in wanting to do one thing and once you actually experience it, it's a very different scenario. We have relationships with over 75 hospitals. So it's really an opportunity for our students to think about where do I want to train and where do I want to get into a residency? It's really giving me the opportunity to experience a lot of different kinds of specialties and helping me see what I would like and what I don't like. When I first started clinical rotations, it was nerve-wracking and exciting at the same time. I wondered how I would stack up against other U.S. students, and I came to see that I felt very comfortable in my clinical rotations and equally as prepared as my U.S. peers. My typical day really depends on the rotation I'm in. For internal medicine, we would wake up at like 6. I get to work by 5.30 a.m. And we'll pre-round, so we'll go see the patients that stayed at the hospital overnight. Then by 7.30, we're getting ready to go into the OR. As you're going through the process, you always have support from residents and from mentors at the hospital. It's rarely ever that there's even more than one student with a resident or an attending. In my experience, you get a lot of one-on-one -on -one interaction. I actually had the opportunity to perform CPR on a patient. One time I had scrubbed in on a surgery where a doctor restored function to the patient's diaphragm and then she was able to breathe again normally, as you and I would. Being here in a hospital and dealing with real patients has helped give me a different perspective. St. George's allowed me to do multiple rotations, to repeat rotations that I was interested in, different disciplines. It's never too early to, to think about it because once you decide what specialty you want to go into, there's definitely a big play between where you do your clinical rotations and where you eventually match. For the first two years, it was all book work, but now you're actually seeing these are real people. I feel like that's, that's why we go into medicine is because we're trying to help people and we're trying to make a difference.